Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! All right, seven minutes after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. You know, Robin, down in Epcot, they have a pretty cool thing that they do. They have uh, passports for children. Yeah. And uh, the passports, of course, are not real passports. They're, they're just fun things. And the, and the children go from uh, station to station in the, uh, oh, what is that area called? The show, World Showcase area yes, of Epcot in, Epcot in Disney World. And uh, I guess it's just for the fun of it. But, you know, those tickets are $90 a piece. Wow. Epcot tickets are not cheap. So yeah. what do you think about this? We have an opportunity for children to do something very similar right here at the Paddock Mall this coming Saturday. And it's all part of an event being presented by the Children's Development. Let me make sure I get this right. Uh, ch- children's child, Childhood Development Services. Brandy Cooney is here. And she's not so nervous, I don't think. Uh, She's the Public Relations and Business Development Director for Childhood Development Services. And the Tour Around the World with Childhood Development Services fundraising event is happening on Saturday here at the Paddock Mall from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. And it sounds like a fun event, and there are passports involved. Am I right? Good good morning, Brandy. Good morning. Right. There are passports involved. Children will check in at our customs station, and they'll receive a nice tote bag for their traveling around the world, and they're going to get a play passport. And as they tour to the different destinations, they'll get their passport stamped at each location. And where is where's customs? Where is that going to be? That's going to be right in front of the stage, right in front of Macy's. Oh, okay, okay. So that's that's where you go first, right? That's where you want to check in and get your passport and your tote bag for your travels. Now, how many stations are there? How many countries represented? There's 19 different countries wow. represented. Wow, that's more than Epcot has. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, there's also live performances going on in the stage right in front of Macy's. We have Irish dancing and martial arts world is demonstrating some of their skills, tap dancing. So we have lots of demonstrations going on on the stage as well as touring around to the different destinations. Oh, nice. And and, uh, 19, uh, I'm guessing that all the continents are represented with the exception of Antarctica? They are all represented. That's right. Um, We have England is going to be there, Uh, India, Italy, Korea. Korea, the United States, of course, um, and we had someone choose Hawaii, so that'll be a lot of fun. Hawaii, oh, wow. <laughs> Hawaii yes. Well, you don't need Beach a passport time. for that one, right? No, nope. no. Don't need a passport for Hawaii. So, have have you traveled around the world? Are you a world traveler yourself? I am not, but I have toured with Childhood Development Services. Um, this will be our third year now. Now, we we participated last year. We had fun, and uh, it was over at the the church. It was at Blessed Trinity at last Blessed. year, mm-hmm. and you per, uh, you were on stage, and you. Now, is Childhood Development part? of Blessed Trinity or did I just think that because it was there last year? Right. We were just hosting our event there okay. in partnership with the church. Um, we're actually a nonprofit organization here in Ocala, but we provide services throughout the state of Florida. And and does the, the, the tour around the world event, does it... Um, in addition to raise money, raise awareness? Well, does it raise money? Um, It doesn't raise money, but it does raise awareness about the services that Childhood Development Services provides. A lot of people don't know um, we're celebrating our 49th birthday this month, so we're turning the big 5-0. You don't look it. (laughs) We're turning the big 5-0 next year. So it's providing education to the community about the services that we offer Uh um, throughout the state, as well as it's just a fun time for families to get together, do something fun that's free, which is important, yeah, yeah. Um, and just kind of give back to the community. Oh, nice! It, it was. It looked like a lot of fun last year. We were kind of observing it from the stage. From the stage, yeah, a little we elevated. Were stars. Yeah. <laughs> so everything is totally free. Then this this everything. is not a fundraising event. It's no. more of an awareness event. It's an awareness event, and it's completely free for families. It's just a good time to get out of the house and do something fun on a Saturday together. Oh. And it's educational. You get to learn about different areas of the world. Now, how did you choose who was um, operating each station? Did you find somebody who could speak? 
well, India, they speak English, right? Yeah. What, let me think. Mm-hmm. What country did you say? Any any foreign languages involved in this? Like France. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the fun thing. We don't know yet. We know what countries are going to be represented, um, but we do not know what type of education they're going to be providing to children. That's the fun part of oh, it. Oh, okay. So you don't even know. We don't know. So where, so where do you get the people from who man them? Are they? We just contact different businesses um, and ask if they're interested, tell them oh, a little really? bit about the um, program and see if they're interested. And then a lot of businesses come back. This is our third year. So they're asking us in advance um, to participate. So I've often had this idea that we should, as a radio station, we should ha- like give away a prize, like a tour, tour the culinary world in Ocala, because we've got uh, we've got That's an Indian, in the Indian restaurant always is at the top of the list whenever there's a oh, yeah. there's a survey. Yes, we've of course got Italian restaurants. We have at least one French restaurant, at least right? one yes. German restaurant, right? Right. Uh, I'm just guessing, and we've got at least one Greek one that I know of. So mm-hmm. we could right. we could tour the world here. You could do that. Of course, mm-hmm. of course, Latin restaurants too. Oh, of That's course. Right. <laughs> Families could come to our event and then go back out in the community and choose where they wanted to eat for Chinese, that day. Chinese. So we got Chinese. Chinese, yes. Oh, yeah. We had Chinese yesterday. Yes, we did. It was yeah. really good. And my fortune said, stay at your j- day job. No, <laughs> no, 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 uh, when you put an event together of this <laughs> magnitude, how do you manage to not just round up the uh, uh, people that will re- be representing the countries there, but the talent? Because there is so much talent in our community and you have so little time, four hours for the event. To squeeze it all in. Right. Um, well, we have a committee at Childhood Development Services, and we break up into groups to determine who's going to handle getting our countries, our destinations, who's going to handle what's happening on the stage. So it's a group effort. So the event is fun. Yes. Um, and I'm guessing everybody's excited about it, right? Everybody is very excited about it. We have people that call us um, year after year, even families, and ask us when we're going to be doing the next event yeah, so yeah. they can put it on their calendars. So tell me what Childhood Development Services does. What do you guys do? Well, we're a nonprofit organization, and all of our programs promote self-sufficiency. So, for example, we have the Head Start and Early Head Start program, which is a free educational program. Um, we target the children that are um, already marked, earmarked as being... Um, they're not going to succeed in education due to their poverty level and their home situation. Yeah, so right. yeah. um, their self-sufficiency is preparing them for kindergarten so that they can have a successful education career and continue on through life. Uh, we also have training programs for adults who want to work in the child care industry. Uh, there oh, are really? right, there's um, state-mandated requirement training courses that individuals that want to work in preschools must take, um, along with extra training that we provide to those individuals. So we promote self-sufficiency throughout our communities. And background checks as well. Yes. For everybody that trains. Yep. Everybody that um, works in child care needs to have a background check. And we provide, um, because we are a nonprofit and all of our programs are not 100% funded, um, there's a couple of things that we do to help fund those extra programs. One of them is live skin fingerprinting. We do that here in Marion County and anyone can come to us. You say live skin? Live skin fingerprinting. What is that? It's electronic fingerprinting scanning so you don't do the the old fashioned as we say. So somebody couldn't cut off a finger and get into the door? I don't think so. Okay. (laughs) Wow. I never heard that before. Live skin. That's brand new. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So that's something that we do that helps raise funding for our other non-profit Mm -hmm. And where Progress. where are you? Did you used to be in the in the uh, Cascades? No, no. No, that was We're, somebody else, huh? Right. We are on 25th Avenue, Northeast 25th Avenue in the Skylark Plaza. It's the old, old pick and save building mm-hmm. for those of us that have been around a while. Okay. Oh, okay. We know okay. where that is. We're old. <laughs> <laughs> have to remind me later on where pick and save used to be. Uh, so t- so it's uh, 10 till 2. So what, what would you recommend somebody listening? I would, I mean, I'd show up at 10. I, do, I wouldn't want to miss anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Show up at 10 because as well as all the performances going on the stage, we're going to be having raffles and giveaways at the end of every performance oh so, really yeah so get there at 10 check in <clears throat> um, get some raffle tickets and then just start your destinations and your tours and there's also going to be some seating available for people that want to sit and just kind of take in what's going on on the stage are you going to be are, are all the countries going to be spread out throughout the mall or just in the immediate area in, in front of um, Macy's? Most of them will be right there in front of Macy's we're going to outskirt a little bit right behind um, the pretzel Oh, yeah. Auntie Annie's pretzels. Auntie Annie's pretzels. Um, But that's about where we're going to be is right there in the middle. 
Right. Wow. That's, I mean, that's easy a, location. That's right, right here. I mean, right we're there. we're very close to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have on your flyer. There's going to be a costume contest. Do you encourage the people that are co- going to come, the children and the families, to dress up in different costumes? They can. Um, they can as well. Um, the vendors are also going to be dressing up, mm-hmm. and the audience is going to vote on the best dressed. Oh, it's wow. costume, so that'll be a lot of fun too. Oh man, cool. you know what I'm hearing in my head right now? It's a small world. Remember that? Song? Oh yeah, yes. yes. All the yes. little children dressed, dressed in all the costumes from all around the world. Yes, yes. Do you know the other thing is that all Americans don't wear cowboy hats. That was the one thing in that in that small world. Do you remember all the little American kids they had did. cowboy? It's like, yeah. Hello. I know. Do we all wear <laughs> baseball hats? Maybe. Not right. Cowboy. Right. That's a better representation. <laughs> is uh, uh, is is the country of America? Being representative yes. there? Hawaii. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Hawaii. That's right. Hawaii, yeah. you said. Uh, so so uh, it sounds like a lot of fun. So it's spread throughout the whole mall? Um, it's going to be Ma- centralized right by Macy's. Okay. Maybe I just keep missing that. So I, I thought the main thing was at Macy's, but the whole... Let's see. Where is Macy's? It's right stage, across the way, the right? The stage will be right outside of Macy's, and then our... Uh, so everything's okay. sort of close. It is. It is in okay. close proximity. Mm-hmm. All right, that is cool. Now what, and, and and you get your your passport stamped, and then uh, at and each destination you get your passport stamped, um, and then when you get home you can put a photo of yourself in the passport, just like Aww. a real one. Are there food samples from the different countries? No, there will not be no. any food samplings. Mm-hmm. Go over here. Get some Chinese food. Okay. They go to the food court. <laughs> <laughs> go to the food court. Uh, when you say that each each country is is going to be put on by a, a different vendors, do you know? So, like what, like, like you've listed the Marion County Public Library. What do you suppose they'll be doing, or is that a surprise? Well, it is a surprise, but the Marion County Library, um, they always surprise us. Uh, usually, they win the best destination award, which uh-huh. means they get a free entry into the next um, tour around the world event. Oh. Oh, so wow. they are our winners from 2013. So it's always exciting to see what they have. What and did they, they do they, to win? Um, they had a giant, they were Germany and they had a giant gingerbread house. So Wow. Yeah, they're really cool neat. Who is that? They are. Oh wow! I, I guess we missed that last yeah. year. I, it was it was very exciting to see what everybody was, was very creative. By the way, there was a, there was an embarrassing moment for me uh, last year. You wanted me to tell you the story? Sure. Was uh, uh, was it Julie asked me if I pick Julie. pick one of the names out of the bucket? Okay, okay. so so I'm I'm put my hand in there and I shake it around and just a pr- uh, just the disclaimer here. I did it honestly. I picked out the name. It was my niece. Wow. Yeah. And she didn't, she, didn't, she didn't know I was going to be there. I didn't know she was going to be there. Mm-hmm. I picked it out. I said, wait a minute. I know this name. <laughs> and she came up to say, I said, don't tell anybody we're related. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever actually said anything about that. But, yeah. That's great. And I hope she had a great time. So so that was an example, I guess. And she was like, a, was it, am I right in saying it could have been a $50 gift card? Were you giving stuff yeah. away like that? We were. We were yeah. giving away gift cards and a $100 cash prize. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, last year. so we really need to say that because I, I, I think a lot of people show up because of the prizes sometimes, and we want people to show up. So, mm-hmm. so, right. so some good prizes. Can we specifically say what prizes you'll good have? Prizes. We do have a fifty dollars iTunes gift card. Okay. So a lot of kids will like that. Uh, we have a rainbow loom kit. That's the oh, that's fun hot. bracelets. Yeah. Yeah, that's hot. We have a whole kit now. for that, so that's exciting. Um, and then we have some restaurant gift cards to L House. Oh, nice. Um, each child that comes gets a free kids meal to Ale House that's in their totes while they travel so oh, they wow. can easily leave our event and go get their go meal get some ale. Yeah. Now, now can are you, are you still do you have a wish list that you would still like some stuff for or? absolutely we'll never turn anything away so if somebody wants to put something into the uh, the pot for as, as gifts or prizes or, or even for the uh the little handout bag. Absolutely, the, the little tote bag. bag. They can give me a call at 629-0055, extension 353. Now, did you know a year ago that it was going to be in the mall? How, how far in advance do you do you arrange for that? We do start planning about a year in advance. So as soon as this event this is done, ends, you're, you're doing it we'll again. start planning for 2015 to lock in our location and start um, working with our vendors to select countries. And the Paddock Mall is a great location because there's ample parking. It's very safe here, well lit. It's and family friendly. It is very family friendly. The radio been, station right outside the food yeah, court. Yeah, radio station. <laughs> and everyone's been very accommodating with us with letting us come in early Saturday morning to set up. Oh, that's nice. So they've been great. 
Uh, you, last year you had uh, uh, young ladies that did the uh, Irish dancing, and they were from the tiny toddlers up to the 18, 20 year olds that were more experienced, and they were fascinating to see in their dress and as they performed. They are absolutely incredible. And they'll be back again this year. This is their third oh. year, so and it's St. Patrick's Day weekend, so we're excited about that. That's right. And where are they from? They're from um, Blessed Trinity. Oh, they are from Blessed yes. Trinity. Okay. Yes. So Blessed Trinity has like a dance school or the dance? Irish dancing. Really? Yes. And, and I remember they, they were, they had, uh, is their, I don't know, their, their theme song? Is it the Irish jig or the uh, washerwoman, whatever it is? You know? I'm not sure. They have several different performances that okay. they do. They perform for about 30 minutes. I don't know how they are not exhausted. Oh, they I know. They perform about so good. 30 minutes. 30 minutes and with various different songs. Wow. I wonder how many kids will go to something like this and suddenly be interested in learning more about world geography or world cultures, that kind of thing. Right. I mean, I would. It would make sense to me. It would, yes. To start asking those questions and just digging a little bit deeper about what's can, out there around us. As a kid in New York, we, the World's Fair came by in 1964, I guess it was. And I, I remember going to the World's Fair and having that sense that I had just sort of kind of visited other countries, you know. Right. It same thing happened. You've gone to Epcot, right? Absolutely. So absolutely. it's that same thing, right? You get the feeling that you've, because I've never really traveled across. I mean, the, my foreign country was Quebec or Canada, really. <laughs> uh -huh. But, but yeah. Quebec felt more like a foreign country. Like you go to Toronto, it feels like New York. Not quiet, right. but, but not too different. Mm -hmm. Tampa, maybe. Right. But you go to Quebec, everybody's speaking French. Yeah, so you feel like you've gone somewhere. Yeah, it feels different. I don't know. So. Right. And each of the countries will have different activities going on. The children at, yep. at their and particular education. booth. Uh huh. And education going on. So that'll be great. They're not going to want it to end. It's going to end at two, and they're going to wish it went longer, right? I know, I know. That's the hope. So then they'll want to come back next year. So what's the, what's the, um, plan for the the, uh, the the cast party at the end. When it's all done, you can finally say, ah, oh, we did it. We pulled it off. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? Take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I think, we'll, we'll just relax. We have a couch out there in, in, our, in our cloud room. We if, might yeah, stop we, in. <laughs> <laughs> the door should be open. You can come in. Take on rotating shifts, taking a nap. <laughs> I think I got a pillow in my desk somewhere. <laughs> we can borrow. Uh, do the children each have to be accompanied by an adult? Yes. Yes, we do not provide any type of supervision so please kids bring your parents mm -hmm. or Excellent. grandparents on oh, that that is more more special too because sometimes the grandparents know more about the history of the family than the parents do yes that's true now you mentioned uh, the, the library the pampered chef is also listed as a vendor is the pamper right. who is the pampered chef um well it's just a pampered chef representative who has participated again the last two years and she just came back and wanted to do it again what, what is the pampered chef what is that pampered chef is the um they sell the it's the home where you can go into their home and they sell kitchen items and gadgets and oh, baking it's a store. dishes and okay oh wow they sell um it's is, like is it downtown no they don't it's not an actual store okay they sell things like they can go into your home and you can have a party oh have parties oh. and then your friends can Cookware. have a party oh, a party. oh yeah. nice uh, really? Cool. And they come into your home and cook? Yes, they'll come in and prepare a couple of dishes with their pans, and then they'll. Are they help. cooking here? Are they going to be making food? They're not going to be making food. What no. is the, the food? No food. <laughs> I can bring some French fries for the France exhibit. <laughs> I say I go next door. To get yeah. some yeah. uh, Ebenezer Church is part of the, um, uh, also one of the vendors. What are they going to be providing? Right. Um, well, they're going to be actually on stage as well as being a country. So that'll be fun. Singing, perf dancing. They'll be they dancing. Oh, really? They'll be doing some dancing, and then um, that's their their teen group will be dancing, and then we'll have some older adults that'll be running their booth. You know another great thing about the whole idea of showing children the world in, in the way you're, you're doing it, like a, sh or like a world showcase, is that America is a melting pot. So as, yes. as you look at what is supposed to be the typical f person from Holland, the typical person from Italy, the typical person from uh, a country in Africa, I'm forgetting all my African countries. Nigeria. Yeah. I, I mean, you realize as you look around America, wow, that guy may have had relatives who came from Europe. That guy may have had relatives that came from Asia. Right. Or, you We're know, a melting it, pot. Yeah, we are a melting pot. And that's why I think it's very good for the children. We, we, and, and on a serious note, all the, all the 
troubles that we have in the world is because people don't get along because they're not the same or they think they're not. And in America, guess what? You could have a Christian living next door to a Muslim, living next door to an atheist. And right. It, it's just amazing how we have figured out how to get along. The rest right. of the world needs to pay attention to us. Right. Do you also focus on the high-risk children at Childhood Development Services, the ones that are more apt to run away from home or skip school? Um, we do. On that aspect, it's our younger kids. It's the kids under five. Mm -hmm. um, and we're really focused on their education and what's going on in their home environment and how can we eliminate some of those stressors in the home so that they're able to focus on learning and playing and making friendships and learning how to get along. So how do you, how do you this, this is a personal question in a way, but you're public relations. How do you like your job? I mean, is it, is it fun telling people about what they do at Childhood Development Services? And it is a lot of fun because I think we do accomplish so much. I mean, working with young children and preparing them for a lifetime of learning and a lifetime of love of learning, as well as working with adults who are trying to go back to school or find a new career and they right. just kind of don't know where to go. So I think we offer a lot and it's a lot of fun to talk about mm -hmm. and I get to interact with all of the different programs so I'm not locked into one program which is a lot of fun <laughs> so, this, so this is not a fundraiser do you need a fundraiser do you do you have a need for funding maybe is about we absolutely saying. do have a need for funding um, like our, a lot of our programs like our Head Start early Head Start program it's only funded at 80% by the federal government so we're required to come up with the remaining 20% um, now we do participate in United Way right. and we do receive some funding from United Way but we're required to get 3.2 million dollars um, so we obviously cannot get that from one funding agency so we are in the need of fundraisings we do little things all the time um, and we're looking for groups that will possibly put on an event for us and that's annually that is annually 3.2 2 million dollars every year gosh so form a bond with us remember we're here for the community you're you're it so uh make, make sure we know what you're doing so that absolutely. we can let them know what you're doing absolutely especially especially if you have a fundraiser so this is just a fun this raiser. is just fun this is this just, is just, just fun. plain fun just fun and will the childhood development services have their own information booth like an information center in case parents need to get more information while while they're at the event we will, and that's at our check-in table. So while the kids are getting their passports and their bags, we'll be giving parents information about what we provide and how to contact us should they need us. Mm -hmm. um, we also look for volunteers. So some parents may not need our services. They may want to give back to the community. Oh. And they can do that through volunteering. So we'll be giving them information about how to do that as well. All right. Uh, Brandy Cooney, you did great. Thank you were you. worried in the beginning. <laughs> you were nervous. I could see it. And uh, you are here to represent uh, Childhood Development Services and especially the event happening this Saturday. For those just tuning in, it'll be from 10 a.m. till 2 right here at the Paddock Mall. Bring the children. Uh, it's a free event. No registration fee. Uh, featuring onstage dances from around the world. Costume contests. Giveaways. Lots of prizes. A couple of really good ones, it sounds like. Passports. Uh, get the passport and visit each of the, the 19... Uh, stations representing a different part of the world, a different culture. And, and Hawaii, although it is the United States, has a right. unique culture, doesn't it? It does. It does. Uh, as does Florida, I think. <laughs> I think every state is a I'm little bit sure. different. I'm not sure. I'm so immersed in it. I, I lost sight of it, I think. Are you going to be wearing a costume? Are you going to dress up? I will not be. I will oh, be okay. normal me. <laughs> Running around crazy. Are you a biker chick? No. No, no. <laughs> Spike week, I thought I'd ask. That's right. No Rock. born to be wild on the music. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bikers have this movie. It was in the news this morning. They're, they're invited to this movie. It's a fundraiser for the veterans. Mm -hmm. And it's called Why Why We Bike, Why We Ride, or something like that. Yeah. Oh. And I thought we should all have a movie like that. <laughs> yeah, we should. You know, whatever you do, whatever your right. thing is, you do. You know, why we paint, you know. Yeah, that's right. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> why we dress goofy, you know, <laughs> something like that. Well, Childhood Development Services has been such an integral part in our community sometimes uh, because you're always working behind the scenes of everything. You're never in the forefront, but you always make sure that the children are happy and safe and that they grow up in a healthy environment, whether it's a school or home. Thank you. Thank All right. You. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming in, Brandy. Thank you. Uh, if, do you want to leave us with a phone number or a uh, website sure. or both? Sure. Uh, phone number 352-629-0055, extension 353. And our website is discovercds.org. 
And Facebook, do you have that? Or? We do have Facebook, Childhood Development Services. There you go. I think I'm a fan or a friend or a like or something like that. You are. I think so. I think I am. All right. We will, uh, Brandy, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming in. We'll take a little break and we will be right back to have fun with Joe. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County is a ministry dedicated to improving lives by providing affordable and decent housing. Help them help others by visiting the Habitat for Humanity Ocala Restore at 9. 